how impressive was Kyler's debut? Skip, he's the number one overall pick. Mm. Um, You're just he... going to shrug it off. That's it. No, no, I, I don't, okay. I don't, I don't base a whole lot on the preseason. Skip, you know the first. Right. Pre- you cover the game far too much. You know everything is really, really basic. The first preseason game, base offense, base defense, nothing exotic. They did a great job of getting the ball out of his hand quick. Skip, the the the, the, the longest the ball traveled was nine yards. He's doing a lot of dinking and dacking and wasn't nothing Uh-oh. happening. Yeah, what I was out. Am I lying? Boy, Dak can really dink it. Yeah, he can. Yeah. Oh, he can. Yeah. He can really, uh-huh. really dink it. Uh-huh. But I, I thought he did a very good job, Skip. They <clears throat> they, they mm. got the ball out of his hands quick. Uh, quick throws, quick outs, stop routes, you know, easy throws. Nothing too complex. But they, like I said, everything was going to be running out of base defense. Skip, it look, he looked quick. Um, he's a quick guy. Uh, and so when you're dealing with a guy like Kyler Murray, you're going to have to rush him differently, Skip. You're going to have to rush him inside, I, I mean, outside in to make sure you keep your outside free because you see the one guy come scot-free mm-hmm. and he wasn't under control and he was able to escape. Now, even though the pl- pass was incomplete because the guy stepped out of bounds, it just shows you the elusiveness of this kid and his ability to be th- mm-hmm. to uh, throw on the run. Mm-hmm. So I was, I was, I was uh, impressed that he was able to you know, handle the, way, the composure mm-hmm. in which he handled himself with. Skip, I don't think we should get overboard. He was the first pick in the draft, am I correct? Mm-hmm. Now, I can see, now, if he's a seventh-round draft pick and he got into the game and he's doing all this, but he was the first overall mm. pick, like Andrew Luck, like mm. John Elway, like uh, Troy Aikman and Terry Bradshaw. So, should we temper expectations? Mm. Like, should, I mean, you want mm. a, a parade already mm. with what you just saw? Mm. Come on, Skip, I'm not there yet. Mm. Yet, if... Three or four of Kyler's passes last night have been batted down at the line of scrimmage. The Hall of Famer across from me would have thrown a parade that would have run over little Kyler. Oh, I told you. It would skip his hard to throw. His right? Heart. If he getting passes batted down, we throwing outside the number. Yeah. We got a problem. Okay. It's when he has to throw over the middle. Okay. When they start running some in, you know, some end cuts, we'll see, Skip. Did we have any problems last night? No, I hope we not. Did not. No, you, you could. You probably hope so. You were looking <laughs> <Like> for something <laughs> to, to to bite down on, no. to come in here and spit out. I'm not a nitpick right? type of guy like oh, somebody stop. else I know. Stop it. It was just the first preseason game, but I always tell you it is always fun and enlightening to eye test rookie quarterbacks in their first little splash of NFL yep. action because – your eyes can tell you, can he handle it? Can he handle that spotlight? It's not the biggest, brightest spotlight, but all of a sudden you're under you're the first pick in the draft and you are expected to produce something in your first little splash of action. Okay. Right? Yeah. So what did we see last night? This is what my eyes told me. What did I tell you? Special little playmaker. That's what he is. It does, it does I, I saw lightning release, which I've always told you he had, and I saw lightning quickness and speed. Not just quickness, but and speed. Give everything with a three-step drop. I saw deadly accurate because at Oklahoma, he was always <laughs> deadly accurate. And I saw shockingly strong arm for the little size because I, I sometimes wonder how the ball explodes out of his hand with such velocity from such a little man. But remember, the Oakland A's thought he yeah, was going to be fair. a gold glove center fielder with a big arm. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So w- what else did we see? We saw supreme calm and confidence to the point of what I call athletic arrogance. Is that moment too big for him? No, it's just a preseason game to him. And he stepped right on the field like he owned the football field, like he was the best player on the field. And again, are there backups all? Yes, gotcha. But what did your eyes tell you that this is, <laughs> this is never going to be too big for Kyler Murray? And so what happens right away? He gets backed up. This is not the optimal starting point for a rookie quarterback in his first action. They get pushed back into jail at their two-yard line. And you know and I know that can be a little dicey. It can play with your head a little bit. You might get a little arch conservative and a little tentative in your throws. But right away, he first faces third and three from the nine. And he just, he got a little option route to a kid named Trent Sherfield. Oh, he's- Don't miss that. Wait, 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 wait. 
Vanderbilt. He's from Vanderbilt University oh. because Vanderbilt is taking over the NFL and MLB <laughs> and in the NBA. They're everywhere. Well, hold on. You it, miss a beat. Yeah. Can, can, can I ask you? I just want to know one thing. Trent Sherfield, remember the name? Okay. He had right. four big catches last okay. night. Let me. Just, I, and I'm gonna let you continue. Mm-hmm. If all these influx of Vanderbilt mm-hmm. players are taking over the NFL, mm-hmm. why can't you do better than the SEC? Mm. We, we do okay. We win our four or five, six games here and there. We do okay. That wouldn't be good enough if you were talking about the Cowboys. Our academic standards are Man, so no, no, high. No, 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 no. We don't That's have great. enough depth to fight Alabama or Georgia or Tennessee or Florida some years. But usually we're real good against our rival Tennessee. Okay, back to, back to the basics here. So then after the game, Kyler spoke more than I can ever remember him speaking because Jenny Taft interviewed oh, yeah. Kyler. I don't remember many interviews with Kyler Murray. In fact, he was kind of the number two of college football, as in that guy who used to be in Toronto and came to the Clippers, shockingly, and stiffed the Lakers. That guy started talking only during last year's playoffs. And all of a sudden, Kyler is now a professional football player. And after the game, he just opened up. And he talked about how he, he, he was born with the self-preservation gene. He's just got it. And he tried to explain it. It's instinctual, but it's about leverage. I leverage myself out of precarious predicaments where I know when to go here and go there. Kingsbury talked about it. It, it said he's been little his whole life. So he knows how to find the soft spot and get down. He even got sacked on the final play because the protection just broke down on both sides. You'll get that, a lot of that. He's going to get a lot of that. I would agree with you. But what did he do? Did he just go sitting duck? I no. give myself up for dead. He dived forward and, and let them go cartoonish, run into each other, right? Where he didn't take any of the licks from, from either side. Right. Okay. So he's got all that going for him. And then finally, I got two other quick points and I, I think I'll just read my tweet. This is what I tweeted. Oh, I what did you tweet? Yes. I said, if we could show this, please. Mm -hmm. Disappointed in Kingsbury for not letting Kyler play at least one more series. I realize the offensive line is pretty (laughs) awful, but the kid just needs reps. The more he gets in these preseason games, the better he'll be in week one, and he can be very good very quickly. He should have played three or four series No, last night. Yeah, no. Yes, no, yes, you yes. No, you don't want to expose him He's like that. He's going to be a rookie starting yes. quarterback. Yes. So what did Kyler say? He took issue. He said, I was itching to get back in. And twice he went up to Cliff Kingsbury, yes. his rookie head coach that you don't have a lot of respect for because he didn't earn it at Texas Tech. Uh, and, and Kyler's like, I'm done? He asked him twice. I'm done? Yep, you're done. So they do play the Raiders at home this uh, a week from. He, no, that ain't how you ask him. He's like. I'm done. I'm done. done? Yeah, You're exactly. Done? Yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm. Like, yeah, I'm done. Right. Okay. Still trying to make I it feel like he was asking. Way. I want to get back. Am I done? Huh? No, you could sense that he wanted to be out mm-hmm. there from his quotes. They're yep. very telling. Shannon Sharp, you, you got to let this kid play. <laughs> Just let him play. Skip, he's gonna Again, get up. I, I'm gonna knock on wood for him, but he went through last year. And I never saw him in a, a dangerous spot where, where he took a shot where I said, ooh, I don't know if he can get up from that one. Right. So why not just let him figure it out? Skip, you, go, he skip. you got four preseason games. He'll play more the second one. He'll probably play to the half the third one, maybe even a snap, or even a series into the third quarter. But you had seen enough, Skip. In a situation like this, I remember when uh, playing with Mike in Denver, Skip, he would say, okay, we're going to play 10 plays. I get, you got 10 reps, guys. Now, if we look really good in four or five reps, we were done. Okay. But if he said we're going to play 20 reps and we look like crap, we're going to play 30 reps. So it was all contingent. He got a couple of first downs. Cliff Kingsbury had seen enough. Kid, you're done. Okay, but when John Elway was a rookie quarterback who was going to be thrown into the fire yes. on opening day, you got to let him go and let him feel the flow of it, the yes. RPM of it enough that he's ready for week one. He will, Skip, he's going to play even more week two. He's going to play a lot week three. I'm going to remind you, at 41 last year, Tom Brady played 69 preseason snaps. That's a lot of football. Skip, but, that, that, but let me ask you a question. That was the first time probably in Tom Brady's career outside of his rookie season that he played that many snaps. Mm. Now, I don't want to get into what Coach Belichick was thinking but, or, or anything like that, but I just believe because he ended on a positive note, yeah, you'd like to see him go okay. down in Kyler Mitchell right. and get Last points. Last quick point. Mm-hmm. Kyler volunteered after the game, this really stunned me, that he has issues with 
post-game fraternizing between teams at midfield because they don't do that in college football. I don't know why. They just don't. They do it in the NFL. Right. It has long been. Long standing. Like, it's, it's not a rule or right. a, a must. It just a lot happens. Of guys, a, lot of guys, a lot of guys skip. They pray at midfield. Okay. You know, I mean, you now see that. That's a whole that. other thing. Yeah. But I'm talking about just mingling yeah. at midfield. Yeah. The coaches shake hands. Right. And then you see various players who played together maybe in college. That's a new school thing. Okay. Because you remember the old school coaches, coach, they just point. Okay. I remember Coach, uh, uh, coach right. Reeves. Yeah. He would just point and okay. go to the locker room. I loved it that Kyler said this because he's like, I'm not. Oh, I'm not my that. goodness. Dude, he ain't changing anything, uh, Skip. Uh, They've been doing this before Kyler Murray. See, there you go with that. Well, maybe he doesn't have to participate. Don't worry about it. Mm. They'll break him of that habit. Mm. No, they, they, they might mm. not can stop him from talking he's like gonna this. He's going to be humbled and he's going to, like, just crawl across midfield no, and no, no. say, thank you for allowing me to finish this game. Uh- Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.